Karibu sana na mtazamaji wa channel ya Skizzy Learning Network Excellence Knowledge. Karibu sana kama kwanza unatembelea channel hii. Tafadhali nikuombe tuweze kuwa pamoja na uweze kusubscribe ili tukiwa tunaweka video mpya uwe ni wa kwanza kupata taarifa. Karibu sana katika kipindi cha leo cha Chemistry Practical na ukitazama hapo ni form 6 area of concentration. Kwa hiyo ni kuombe uweze kusikiliza na kutizama mwanzo hadi mwisho. Kitu ambacho nimekuletea siku ya leo ni kwamba tunaenda kuangazia maeneo muhimu ambayo unapaswa kufanya e, ku concentrate, kufanya maandalizi ya kuelekea katika national examination katika form 6 chemistry practical. Tunafahamu kuna paper 1, kuna paper 2 na hii ni paper 3 area of concentration. Chemistry practical inaweza kawa ni 3A, 3B lakini pia ni 3C. Karibu sana tuzidi kuwa pamoja hapa. Mimi ni mwalimu wako Mr. Maguru. Unawezekana ni mwanafunzi lakini pia ni mwalimu. Ni kuombe tuweze kuwa pamoja hapa. Tukianza sasa somo letu form 6 chemistry practical area of concentration. Kwa uchambuzi wa hali ya juu nimekuletea maeneo ambayo unapaswa kufanya maandalizi ya kutosha na uweze kujiweka vizuri kama ni mwalimu uweke vizuri wanafunzi wako katika maeneo ambayo ninataka uya, uyaone sasa hivi na tutaenda katika topic wise eh, ili tuweze kuwa pamoja kipengele hadi kipengele na utazidi eh, kufurahia somo hili na masomo ambayo yapo. Topic ya kwanza ni titration. Eh, tunafahamu kuna titration nyingi lakini ya kwanza ambayo tunaenda kuangazia ni double indicator titration, double indicator titration ambayo unapaswa kui, kuifahamu. Na hiyo ni topic muhimu ambayo eh, ni, ni muhimu wanafunzi kuifahamu na waweze kujiweka katika nafasi nzuri zaidi. Double indicator titration ambazo unapaswa kuzifahamu ni kati ya ni mix of sodium carbonate na sodium hydroxide reacting with hydrochloric acid. Na hiyo eh, ni topic ambayo unapaswa kufundisha waweze kufanya mazoezi ya kutosha. Tukiendelea ya pili ni double indicator mix ya solution kati ya acetic acid na hydrochloric acid eh, reacting with the sodium hydroxide double indicator titration. Hiyo ni double indicator titration. Nadhani umeipata vizuri fanya maandalizi ukihitaji maswali unaweza ukunipigia kupitia namba inayopita hapo na utaweza kupata maswali ya kutosha na uweze kufanya maandalizi yanayoridhisha. Tukija katika redox na kupitisha kwa haraka sana ili tuweze kukomboa muda na uweze kunielewa bila kupoteza muda mrefu. Redox titration, nasema reduction and oxidation eh, titration reactions. Na kwanza magnetic titration kwa maana main title anakuwa ni potassium permanganate potassium permanganate lakini anakuwa anawezekana kati ya titration of, of potassium permanganate eh, against na oxalic acid eh hiyo ni ya kwanza so find the questions do the exercise with your students and then to understand make a clear preparation number 2 eh, potassium permanganate ammonium oxalate ammonium oxalate that is the substitute of the famous question of sodium oxalate so instead of sodium oxalate you can use or ammonium oxalate inaweza ikatumika Potassium permanganate against sodium thiosulfate uh, this is uh, iodometric titration uh, iodometric titration uh, unakuwa na sodium 
Lactose sulfate, potassium iodide, starch solution. Then we treat against the potassium permanganate. That is number three. Ya tatu ni sulfuric, eh, sulfuric acid ya nakuwepo kama eh, to initiate the acidic media. Kwa hiyo hiyo katika redox saturation inakuwa katika all parts, all titration questions. And then potassium permanganate against the hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide you can be used. So find the question for more preparations. Uh, another number six titration of potassium permanganate against the ferrous sulfate and this question can be asked to find the number of water crystallization and the amount of water crystallization within a, a compound within a compound in terms of mass there is a water crystallization and then there is amount you can be asked to calculate so find the question to make more preparation which is uh, enough another titration that is iodimetric iodimetric titration this in ausisha sodium thiosulfate a iodine solution iodine solution uh, here there is typing error that's the that is iodine solution Na titration nyingine ambayo unapaswa kufanya maandalizi ambayo kwa uchambuzi ambayo umefanyika ni copper eh, against the sodium thiosulfate mixed with the eh, potassium iodide and the starch solution. The question we have the question of this titration so if you need the question you can get and call and then will be given a uh, soft copy question then you can make a preparation for your better examination so to end the katika eh, topic nyingine ambayo unapaswa kufahamu baada ya titration ni double indicator na redox saturation nadhani umenipata kwa uzuri kabisa katika kipengele hicho na topic nyingine ni partition partition ambayo unapaswa kufanya maandalizi ya kutosha ni kati ya Eh, tunafahamu kutafuta partition eh, o KD coefficient distribution constant dithyl ether you have to prepare that question butanoic acid which is succinic acid and sodium hydroxide eh, succinic acid inakuwa ni double carboxylic acid Carboxylic acid. So, after my story, then make more preparations. So, that is one question for partition. When you get the ethyl ether, you can know the acid or succinic acid and the sodium hydroxide. That is partition question. Other parameters, you can, I think you know the apparatus which are used. Mimi na kupa title ya chemicals ambazo na paswa kuwa nazo na ambazo takupelekea kufahamu swali usika na uweze kulifanya. That is topic number two. Topic number three, thermochemistry. Thermochemistry. The first thing, heat of neutralization. Tunakuwa na heat of neutralization. Tunakuwa na heat of formation and the heat of solution. So, tunanza katika heat of neutralization. Nizikana ikawa ni kipengeli pekia mbalo chukipo au tukawana kipengeli kingine. The first heat of neutralization eh, acetic acid when you mix with the sodium hydroxide you get the enthalpy change and the molar enthalpy change. Oh, you can get the heat that is thermochemistry and then when you mix it hydrochloric acid against the sodium dioxide also there is heat change and then you can calculate molar heat or, or enthalpy molar heat of neutralization 
So we have acetic acid, we have HCl, we have sodium hydroxide. That is our chemicals for heat formation. That is one. Number two, that is heat formation. Here we need heat formation. I use the color and heat of the solution. Uh, the sodium carbonate and the sodium hydroxide. Kwa katika partition kuna vipengele vya namna hii. Uh, the last we have to prove has low. Kumba heat change 1 is equal to heat change 2 plus heat change 3. That is has low. So chemicals provided can be different concentration of hydrochloric acid and a different uh, sodium hydroxide. One is the solution. Lakini pia pellets kwa maana unakuwa na na crystals za sodium hydroxide or in terms of gram not the solution then you can have distilled water that is our our haze law chemicals to use then to understand this question so and that's why if any mazoezi na ulielewe calculation za zote kama una swali that's consult us then you get that question I think you have and as soon as we are together. So topic number four. Topic number four, chemical kinetics. Chemical kinetics. Uh, rate of reaction. The first order of reaction. Na fahamu kuna masali ya order of reaction. Tunakuwa na sodium fuel sulfate. Tunakuwa na hydrochloric acid pia inatosha kutafuta order of reaction lakini pia kuna activation energy eh hiyo ni topic au vipengele ambavyo unapaswa kufanya maswali yake lakini course kama nilivyosema kunakuwa na potassium permanganate oxalic acid sulfuric acid eh hiyo inaweza kawa katika inakuwa chemical kinetics lakini ndani yake kunakuwa na redox reaction Potassium permanganate, oxalic acid, sulfuric acid, sodium thiol sulfate, hydrochloric acid, eh, sodium thiol sulfate, also potassium iodide, starch, hydrogen peroxide, distilled water. Sasa mgawanyo wa swali hili ni kwamba kunakuwa na ukitizama maroma na kuwa 1 2 3 1 2. Kwa nini? Nakuwa na masali tofauti. The first, utakitumia potassium permanganate oxalic acid. Niswali tosha mbalo. Potassium permanganate, that is pink car. When we hit uh, oxalic acid, when we hit oxalic acid here, uh, then we are going to tunaenda kupoteza hile ili papo kala au pink kala kwa kutumia oxalic acid after disappearance then we stop our stopwatch then we record it time then we go to the questions that is question number number one or part one in chemical kinetics number two Oh, the second category is sodium to sulfate and hydrochloric acid. And find the order of reaction also. Or oh, red constant, which is K. Then, in a visumumzia hivo, napasa kunyelewa na oweze kunavita mbavo shapasa kunifunza. Mimi na kutisha katika topics na oweze kuanda maswali ya namna gani. Then the third category, sodium thiol sulfate, potassium iodide, starch solution, hydrogen peroxide, na decidu water. Hapa tunaenda kupata a eh, blue black. Unakuwa na blue black. Eh, appearance of blue black. Blue. Blue black. Color. Kichangana, kitokea blue black then we stop our stopwatch lakini ya, ya pili tunakuwa tuna observe and disappearance of x 
or invisibility of x that is the difficulty of this question ya kwanza ni msema natumia disappearance of purple ya tatu ya pili eh, disappearance of x na ya tatu reappear au oh, appearance of blue blue black color na hicho ni kitu ambacho unapaswa kufanya maandalizi ya kutosha na uweze kujua katika nafasi ya kuwa mshindi katika mitihani yetu inayo inayokuja tukianza katika topic ya tano qualitative analysis qualitative analysis tumezigawanya katika magrupu yafuatayo so make analysis of calcium carbonate eh kwanza ni carbonate eh, we have calcium carbonate and sodium carbonate na hii inaweza kawa ni double salt ukambiwa one cation au two anion so find the question make analysis of these compounds salt compound number two group is sulfate make analysis of copper sulfate ammonia eh, that is sorry ammonium chloride that is not sulfate so copper sulfate zinc sulfate eh ferrous sulfate ambayo eh, nimeandika mara mbili hapo lakini pia kuna kuwa na zinc sulfate so hizo ni compound katika upande wa wa sulfate copper sulfate zinc sulfate and iron sulfate number 3 chloride tunakuwa na chloride kuna copper chloride kuna iron to chloride kuna kuwa na ammonium chloride lakini pia ni chromium chloride chromium chloride hizo ni katika upande wa chloride eh kama number 4 oxalate hapa tutakutana na ammonium oxalate peke ya eh can be a pia so find make analysis find the question make analysis and then to understand this and the fifth uh, group there is nitrate nakuwa na nitrate lakini ambao ni zinc nitrate kwa hiyo kufanya analysis zote hizo katika qualitative analysis utakuwa umejiweka katika nafasi nzuri kwa uchambuzi ambao umefanyika sizani kama kuna nyongeza ya hiyo unapaswa kutafuta maswali na kujiweka katika nafasi nzuri kabisa katika analizi yako yote tufahamu kwamba examination includes three questions the compulsory question is titration can be double indicator titration or redox titration the second question can be partition or kinetics chemical kinetics and the last is a comparison question which is salt analysis qualitative analysis so in question number two there is option either can be partition or rate of reaction or chemical kinetics so make preparation for those topics for those questions for those categories i have shown here then find the question understand or learn understand if you are the teacher teach your student to understand more kama unahitaji maswali kuna namba yangu hapo inapita mr maguru utanipigia na tutaweza kukupatia maswali Shukrani sana kwa wakati huu na tukutane katika lesson nyingine tukijaliwa tunaweza tukaonesha tuka, uchambuzi wa biology eh, na physics kama tulivyofanya katika chemistry. Nashukuru sana tuzilikuwa pamoja another time another day. Shukrani sana.